Not as shy finished the last bit of the sugary treat as Rainbow Dash healed her eye with an ice pack, hoping she'd be able to regain at least some vision. I'm so sorry for hitting you, Rainbow Dash. Ugh, eh, don't worry about it. No, no, I am sorry. I, I was out of control. Ugh, and for that I apologize. Yeah, well, I'm sorry for tying you up. Oh, well, it was the only way I could get that shot, and besides, it didn't really hurt that much. So it did remind me of something I've always wanted to try with Discord. What was that last part? Oh, um, I, I uh, n n nothing. <laughs> Anyways, it's like I told you, it's no- No big deal. <laughs> exactly. Aww, oh, you can just feel their bond becoming stronger. Of course, there have been other stories focusing more on that, but that'll be for another time. Look, Fluttershy. All I really want for you is to deliver the little baby safely and be strong so the little one can have a life. I think that's all anybody asked for, right? Of course. Good, because life is a precious thing and, um, uh, all that sappy poem and fluffy stuff. <clears throat> well, hello there, Fluttershy. How are you feeling today? Numb. Thanks for asking. Don't mention it. Do you recognize me at all? Mm, nope. Really? Not, not even a little? Not really. Oh, well then, <clears throat> allow me to introduce myself. I'm the doctor that told you that you are pregnant. Are you? I'm so sorry. It's alright. I did just recently graduate from medical school. Really? Oh my gosh, congratulations! Thank you, but trust me, I am a much more competent doctor from the last time we spoke. I know a lot more about <clears throat> <coughs> organs, tissues, body fluids, urine samples, and well, such other things. <laughs> so, I will be the one delivering your baby today. Um, when the contractions begin again, just push that blue button on the wall. It might make a strange noise, but do not worry. Alright. Now then, before I go, I would like to explain more about these buttons. Please do not push the red button next to the blue button. The red button will send a signal that a patient's heart has stopped, which means we will come in with electric shock paddles, or defibrillator if you'd prefer its real name, which sadly will mean that we will not have the proper equipment to deliver a baby. Okay, we'll only push the blue button. Excellent. Oh, cool eye patch. Uh, thanks? Oh, uh, just so you know, you can leave whenever you would like, miss. I tell ya, it gets crazy and nasty in here sometimes. Some ponies just find it to be too much for them and... Yeah, well, I'm deafer than most ponies, and Fluttershy here. She's my friend, and I'll stay by her side until she tells me to leave. Alright, alright, just wanted to give you a fair warning, that's all. <sighs> you scared? Not really. I just really want to get this over with. I I'm pretty sure my baby really, really, really wants to go hightail it out of me. I know I wouldn't. Huh? I mean... I'd be happy to stay in such a warm place all day. Plus, free food, shelter from the elements. But I guess it gets boring. Uh, yes. <clears throat> so after that awkward moment, a couple hours pass by while the two watch TV. It looked to be some kind of medical show, and a patient in the show was having a seizure. Fluttershy exhibited some of the same behaviours, except she was groaning in pain. <laughs> Good impression, Fluttershy. No, Rainbow Dash. I, I think the contractions have started again. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh oh! The childbirth team is here. Now let's get. Sorry, sorry! No pony's pulse has stopped. Her heart is fine. I accidentally pressed the red button. Sorry again. Oh, <laughs> yes, alright, now Fluttershy, I'll need you to keep your hind legs in these stirrups and then we can begin. <laughs> Very good. Now this is where it all boils down to. On my signal, I want you to push as hard as you can. Yeah, that baby will be out in no time. Come on, Fluttershy. Let it go. Let it go. Please, Miss Dash. Fluttershy needs to concentrate on pushing. Rainbow Dash, I, I don't want this next part to gross you out. It's going to get kind of... Kind of what? Where do babies come out of anyways? <laughs> what? Gross! Nasty. Are you ready, Fluttershy? Uh, yes. Alright then, on my count. One, two, three! Push, push, push! Okay, good. Good, Fluttershy. We're gonna do some more now. Are you ready for this? It, it'll be okay. I'm right here. 
Okay now, one, two, three, push, push. Do it as hard as you can. Come on now, Fluttershy, you can do better than that. Now, uno, dos, tres, go. All right, I'd say we're about halfway there. We just need a few more pushes, Fluttershy. You can do this. It's in the birth canal. Fluttershy, we need to get it out. Keep pushing, just keep pushing. Uh, I can't, I can't. Fluttershy, you gotta listen to me. If trillions of ponies before you could do this, I know you can too. Okay, okay, I'll admit it. Next to me, you're the toughest and most reliable pony I've ever known. You're always there when your friends and animals need you. You do a million chores every day. You're the most kindest and gentle soul that any pony could know. I know it's hard right now, but, but you have to deliver this baby. You can't just quit halfway, though. There's another life at stake. So this is for you and your baby. I believe in you. Please, Fluttershy, don't get on me and this baby now. <coughs> After Rainbow Dash's speech, Fluttershy then looked deep inside of herself and found her inner confidence. The confidence that had been hiding inside of her during her entire life and it only poked itself out of her delicate soul. Fluttershy having a baby was now one of those times to burst out to the world and show what Fluttershy was really made of. <sighs> let's do this. Okay Fluttershy, let's do some more pushes. Alright. Here we go. One, two, three, push! Fluttershy pushed hard this time. Uh, to put it mildly, it felt like the hardest poop she ever had to take. But in the end, Fluttershy knew she had to do her hardest and best to get this baby out. She was willing to sacrifice her life and limb for this nine-month-old creature that she had hardly known anything about. However, this baby was hers and hers alone. Alright, here we go again. Red light? Green light! Oh, oh, there's the head. It's crowning. Wait, what? It has a crown? How come it gets to have a crown? I gotta see! Miss Dash, must you? Oh my Celestia, it has hair! Oh, oh. <sighs> so much for staying by her side the entire time. Anyway, Fluttershy, I think one more push would do the job. You ready? Okay. One, two, three! PUSH! With that last push, she knew it was all over now. She and the baby could now be together in the real world. It was out of the narrow birth canal, every second felt more painful than the last, but she prevailed. The last scream she let out was so loud that it could be heard from outside the hospital and all the way to the train tracks where Discord was waiting impatiently for the 4.8 mile long monster of a train that had no business being there in the first place. Fluttershy! Woohoo! Woohoo! I'll be needing this. Hey! Discord made sure that the ramp was of adequate size and he was at the length required to jump. He waited for the absolute shortest car to come, then he pedalled the fastest he could to jump over it. The car only caught the bike's front tyre, but only by a little bit. He struggled to balance the weight so that he could get on top, and to make it worse he saw an upcoming tree to cut off his long. He quickly jumped off the BMX and rolled onto the top of the train car. What he last saw of the precious bike was a mangled pile of scrap metal on the nearby sidewalk. Aw oh man, that was like 200 bits! But the obstacles were not over yet. He had to duck and jump past railroad signs and do complicated dance moves to avoid tree limbs, pegasus ponies and other quite painful things he could run into. When Discord finally found a break in the obstacles, he saw the hospital getting closer and closer. Seeing that he suddenly looked at the rolling ground beneath him and decided the only logical thing to do was to jump off. He breathed deeply, then took the leap of faith. Jumping from the high train car and rolled onto the grass below. When he landed, he felt a sharp pain in his shoulder, but then he simply dusted himself off and ran to the hospital, hoping and praying that he would be there in time. However, when he burst through the front door of the hospital, he- We've been waiting for hours for your lazy behind teleporting here. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Miss Fluttershy. It's a girl. Aww. Fluttershy couldn't but smile at the news before she passed out from exhaustion. After a couple hours later, Fluttershy awoke to find her friends and her husband surrounding her. All, of course, wore their share of smiles and tears of joy. S Santa? <laughs> no, Fluttershy. It's us. Oh, Twilight. I had the strangest dream. If 
felt like I was giving birth to your new baby girl. Oh, look at you, boy, boy. Would you like to hold her, sweetie? Yes, um, thank you. Oh, this is such a cute little baby. It's a cute little baby. It's a cute baby. Sorry about that, but one cannot stop when one sees such an adorable mixed and matched baby, having the same torso and facial features as her mother, and from her father, same tail, her four different legs. Her back legs were of a Komodo dragon and a hyena, while her front legs were of an eagle and a goat. The symmetrical parts of her body included two little bat wings and deer antlers. Of course the antlers were not full grown, thank Celestia. There only appeared to be two small bums on her head. Oh my, isn't she the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, honey? <laughs> yeah, look at her, she's... There, perfect. And look at her little head, and, and oh my, just look at her little everything. <laughs> we made her, remember? Oh, I do, but you did most of the work, my dear. You helped. Now, what do you think we should name her? Um, how about Lightning? Thunderbolt! Lightning Thunderbolt something! How about Apple Dumpling? Or Apple Green? <gasps> or Apple Spice? <laughs> now, really, Applejack, a beautiful creation such as this must have a beautiful name to match. <laughs> like Garnet, Amethyst, or Pearl. What about Libraria? Aries could be a good name, too. And again, Tucana is pretty as well. Plus, it can also mean Toucan. I remember once you had a few in your cottage from before and I- Strawberry surprise! Cranberry orange! Caramel peak and turquoise! Wait, what were we talking about? Wow. I mean, just wow. Those names were awful. However, I can't really think of anything better. What do you think, Fluttershy, my dear? Oh, um, well, how about Hestia? After the Greek goddess? Really? You sure no pony is going to confuse that for Celestia? No, Hestia is different. She was the goddess of the Earth, architecture, and family. Ah, <sighs> fine, fine, whatever. It's not like I can change your mind. Well, dear, if you're going with a Greek theme, I would have said Aphrodite or Calliope. After hearing all of those interesting names, the rest of the visit was just every pony marvelling at the new baby. She even opened her little eyes once, and they were just beautiful. The outside pupil sported a teal green like her mother, while the inside was a fiery red orange like discords. So adorable. Nevertheless, the lucky parents just stopped looking into those beautiful coloured eyes. All right, Miss Fluttershy. I'm sorry to say this, but we're going to have to take the little one to the nursery. Just five more minutes, please. <sighs> All right, all right, but only for five minutes. We do have a lot of paperwork to do, and not to sound rude, but have you given her a name yet? It'll make some of the papers easier to fill out. Her name is Hestia. Oh my goodness, that is a good name. I named my son Joe. The five minutes passed by so quickly, Fluttershy could have sworn that she blinked and they were up. Will she be okay in there? Of course she will. She'll be surrounded by other babies. We'll put name tags on and you can come get her after you're out of the hospital in three days. <gasps> three days?! Well, yes. Giving birth is very tiring for any pony. You will need that time to recover. So just relax, stay in bed, and- Oh! If you have anything at all, just push the little green button on your bed and we'll do all we can for you. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, I think I know what she wants. Yes, she's hungry. Little Hestia needs some milk. Oh my, Discord, we need to get some formula. Um, Fluttershy, my dear, I'm sure there's a perfectly good substitute for the formula. Oh right, you mean... Instead of explaining herself, the nurse handed Fluttershy Hestia. She stopped crying once Fluttershy placed Hestia beside her and sensed where the milk was and began to suckle off of Fluttershy. There we go. Now off to the nursery, little one. Ahem. Sorry to see this, but can we really all afford to put Fluttershy in the hospital for three days? Well, aren't we all splitting it? So I don't see why not. Um, Discord? Yes, my dear? 
Well, giving birth and then having a baby sure makes you hungry. So if it's not too much trouble, could you please get me something to eat? After all that? Sure thing. I'll get you a sandwich from the cafeteria. Thank you so much. As Discord made his way down to the cafeteria, he spotted two colts crying as they looked through a window to the nursery. He walked over to them and peered over where a nurse was writing the name Hestia onto a name tag and putting it on his new baby. Of course she looked different from all the other babies, so she didn't even seem like she needed the name tag at all. So, um, which one is yours? That's ours. That little one in the very left side. Ah, uh, what a... Wait, wait, both of yours? Well, of course, silly. We're in a domestic relationship. Well, I certainly didn't bring up uh, chaos again because males can't give birth. Nah, nah. We had a surrogate. A surrogate what? A surrogate. A mare that carries your baby? Oh, well, yeah. I heard about one of those on the news. Y yeah. So, um, how does it work uh, for you gents? You know, bed-wise. Ugh, fucking weirdo. I swear to God, I'm gonna go to the parking lot. What? It was a legitimate question.